Hi and welcome to Easy Tutoring. Today we are going to cover how to find the inverse from coordinates. So before I cover how to actually find the inverse, I want to talk about what it is that we're actually doing. Understanding what it is that you're actually doing will make you understand all of Algebra 2 better. So whenever you are finding the inverse of a function, pretty much all you're doing is you are reflecting it across the line y equals x. Now, of course, this line should be straight. It's just that my drawing does kind of suck. But um, so imagine we have the point 2 comma 6. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, right over there. If we were to reflect this across the line y equals x, then this point would become 6 comma 2. And you can figure this out from some of the reflection rules. So I, I will call this A and I will call this A prime to say that it has been reflected. So like I said, all you're doing when you're finding the inverse is really just reflecting it across this line. And you'll notice that to find your inverse, all you need to do is use the reflection rule over the line y equals x. And that rule is that your coordinates x comma y will go to y comma x. So pretty much all you need to do to find inverse of coordinates is just switch them around. Switch them around. That's it. And that will show you where they reflect across the line y equals x, which gives you your inverse. So our inverse for this set of coordinates right here will be equal to 2 comma 6. We apply this rule and it goes to 6 comma 2. 6 comma 2 just like we found over here. 4 comma 5 will go to 5 comma 4. All right. And negative 3, negative 1 will go to negative 1, negative 3. And that right there is your inverse of that set of coordinates. So of course, you don't have to do this every time. I just wanted to explain what's happening. But um, in the future, whenever you want to find the inverse of your coordinates, it's as simple as just flipping all your coordinates. All right, everyone. So I hope that made sense. If you guys ever want ACT or SAT help, be sure to visit my website, www.e-ztutoring.com. Thank you guys and have a good day.